Hi everyone, I'm Karen Brockney and today I want to talk to you about resizing and exporting photos for the web. When we take photos with our digital cameras or our smartphones, the files we get are very large size. They contain lots of pixels and pixel information about the photos and they're high resolution. Whenever we go to share those photos on the web, we'll need to resize them and downsize them to remove some of those pixels and reduce that file size. Many social media sites have specific requirements for the sizes of photos that you can share on their sites. You may also want to resize a photo to share on your computer monitor or to share with someone over Zoom or other applications like Zoom. In Photoshop, it's very easy to export and share an image using the Export As dialog box. Let's pop over to Photoshop right now and take a look. I've opened this image of a butterfly in Photoshop and I want to resize it and export it to share on Facebook. I'd like to know what the pixel dimensions of this image are before I resize it. I can look in the Properties window, which you can find under Window Properties, and it will show you the pixel dimensions. But you can also move to the status bar at the bottom of the screen. You may see the pixel dimensions there. If you don't, you can click and hold on that document information area to view the pixel dimensions of your photo. This photo has a width of 4032 pixels, which is way too large for Facebook. From the File menu, choose Export, then choose Export As. In the Export As dialog box, on the left-hand side, you'll see your file name, its dimensions, and its size. In the center, there's a preview window. You can zoom in on this preview window to see the effects of sharpening on the image when you resample it. On the right-hand side, there are settings you need to change. For format, choose either PNG or JPEG. I'm choosing JPEG for this image. For quality, it's already set to 100%, but any quality of 80% or over will be good. If I reduce the quality to 80%, the file size will also be reduced. For image size, I'm going to change the width to 2048 pixels. And when I press enter, you'll notice that the height and the scale of the image also changed. These three fields are related. Whenever you change one of these, the other fields will also be changed to resize the picture proportionally. And I'm going to zoom in on this image a little more. We'll go up to the butterfly and just see what that looks like. To resample the image, I'm going to choose one of the resample methods. When you resize an image like this, you have to resample it. The process of resampling removes pixels when you're downsizing an image and it adds pixels when you're making an image larger. The resample method that is default is by Cubic Automatic, which lets Photoshop decide which method to use. By Cubic Sharper is also a great method for downsizing images because when you downsize an image and you remove pixels, you lose a little bit of the clarity and sharpness. So we'll choose by Cubic Sharper. You can just ignore canvas size. For metadata, you can select none, or you can select to keep copyright and contact info if you have that in your file already. For color space, always choose Convert to sRGB, and then click Export. In the Export dialog box, you can change the file name, and I'm going to name this Butterfly FB for Facebook and navigate to where you want to save the file on your computer. I'll just save it in my desktop for now and then click Save. You now have a copy of your file that you can upload and share on Facebook. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment or give me a like and come back and visit again soon. Thank you.